The 2022 election, which could see a shift in the balance of power in Washington, features a nationally watched U.S. Senate race here in New Hampshire, and it appears the Republican field in that race is beginning to solidify. Over the weekend, State Senate President Chuck Morse made his entry into the race official right into the face of that Saturday nor'easter. He follows Londonderry Town Manager Kevin Smith, who got his campaign up and running earlier this month, and retired Army General Don Bolduc, who has been in the race for more than a year. Some other contenders could still emerge, but do not appear to be taking the steps to do so. That includes former Congressman Frank Ginta, Education Commissioner Frank Edelblue, and Seacoast businessman Bill Binney. Now, Benny does have the ability to wait because he could self-fund his campaign, but insiders say even for those with their own money, time is running short. The race for the U.S. Senate is a major undertaking. You have to get staff, you have to get supporters, financing, all these different things have to come together, and most importantly, name recognition. So you have to have someone who can do this very quickly, and although the filing period is June 10th, there's very little time to put together that sort of a campaign. All three declared Republican candidates told us they're going to try to stay focused on the incumbent senator in their campaigns. We'll see how long that commitment holds in what is expected to be a competitive GOP primary. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News.